Okay, I've unboxed the MPC remote start setup. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, they say that you could take it to the Ford dealer and have your stuff activated. Uh, the MPC remote start will work without having it activated, but it doesn't give you the option to change any of the functions available. But uh, activating it uh, through the Ford computer, through the body control module and the instrument cluster uh, module, it allows you to make adjustments and stuff just like you do with a factory remote start. Uh, the the difference with the MPC version is, from what I can understand from the research I did, these trucks come with remote start capabilities from the factory. Um, but the actual key fob that is used with these uh, with the factory truck is you know is a regular three button key fob, and it works on a different frequency than the uh, the key fob that actually has the remote start on it. So in order to do that, you would have to order a module from Ford. If you wanted to do all the Ford stuff, you would have to order a module that would allow it to communicate in that frequency. Well, that's basically what the MPC uh, kit does. Um, and it allows you to do some more upgrades also. You can uh, add um, cell phone capabilities to it so you can start it from anywhere with your cell phone that kind of thing i just got the basic one and basically what it'll do is it'll allow you to hit their allow you to hit your lock unlock lock and the truck will start up and run so the first thing i'm going to do is come into the computer with foreScan now one of the things is if you want to download foreScan there's some free thing there's some free places you can see right here the version that i have was a little bit older version um but it works uh You'll need a um, OBD2 connector. So this is the uh, the connector that I use. Uh, we're going to hook it up to the truck now. Plug it in right to the sorry. Plug it in right to the OBD2 port in the truck. Make sure it's plugged in good and tight. And. At this point, put the key in, turn it on, and then we hit the connect button. Alrighty. Now one thing that is recommended, and I absolutely do recommend, is that you download all your modules as far as as-built modules there's a lot of good videos out on the um, on Forescan. I'm not going to get into all the details on it but you need to download all your as-built modules before you ever change anything in the vehicle and uh, the reason for that is is if you mess up anything you can always put it back to the stock settings Okay, so now all we want to do is we've uh, we've got access on that, so we'll come up, click on modules. Um, actually, we want configuration. Let's see here. All right, here's what we want: configuration and programming. I've already changed the settings in this um, to make sure everything was going to work, obviously. Uh, but what you do is you go to the body control. I go to the body control module as built. Um, if you click on it, then come down and click on play, it will pull up all the information that we need. Okay. It's reading the whole entire module. All right, now it brings up everything. Now what this one does is you actually have some spreadsheets out there that tell you which uh, numbers in here to come in and change to get what we want. With this module, we really don't need to do that. On this one, we can actually come here and click on Stop. And go back over to our program. We come back to Body Control Module Configuration. Click on Play. All right, now it brings up everything that this car, that this truck has, just like your auto lock features, 
you know all that kind of stuff and, and like I said there's some different things in here you can do but what you want to do is you want to look at your enable and disable but we want to come down and find the remote start and this I'm in my body control module not my PCM but my actual body control module Now, whenever I did the remote keyless entry, I came in and I had to activate this. I you know, enabled that. Remote start, right here's what I want. Before, it was disabled. It's enabled now. Um, and what you would do, would you would click on it. And you would have the option to enable or disable, which you would want to enable it, which is what we've done. Um, you can change your duration time values uh, anywhere from 0 to 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes which that can actually be done through your uh, instrument cluster once you enable this. After you get it enabled you want to select write and it will write that new feature to your module. Now what you can do also depends on if you want it or not I chose to have it on mine uh, whenever my vehicle is started, I want my parking lights to come on so I know it's running. Um, you can turn that feature on or you can turn it off. After you do those, we'll get out of that and go back over here to configuration. Um, and then we want to come to instrument panel. And we will look for the same things in it. And we will come all the way down now. Let's see here. You can change everything from door chimes to backup warning chimes to I mean there's just all kinds of stuff you can you can change. I, I wouldn't recommend just going in and changing stuff. Do some research, figure out what you what you're looking at doing. There's people that's done it. There's people that I can tell you the right ways to do it and, and all because a lot of times there's more than one PCM you actually have to um, you actually have to change for it to work right. Now here are some of the things you can see for the remote start feature. Uh, remote start mines are enabled like I said climate control features what this does is this allows you to set it in your dash so you can set it if you want um, the, uh, if you want it to, to be in the auto feature which it'll just set it to a warm and it'll warm it up defrost your windows don't matter what you leave your settings on whether you have AC on max or you heat on max it's, it's gonna set it on whatever or if you can choose the option for last setting so when you get out of the vehicle you set it where you want it to be at the next morning when you start it up and that's what you can do um, if you have uh, uh, heated seats you can set it to turn on your heated seats I do not have them so I did not turn that option on I do have rear window defrost so I do have that enabled so the rear window defrost to come on when the truck starts you would just enable it and if you had a heated steering wheel it would do the same thing um, then you would click the right button and you're good to go um, so all that's already done in mind so we're good with that what we want to do now is we want to come back over to here come back to the vehicle and disconnect and everything that I wanted to do is written in the module now so I'll show you on the dash what that looks like obviously my doors open um, but you would go to your settings your vehicle you would come down to settings over to advanced settings my vehicle and before you would not have seen that now you do you see the remote start feature uh, like I said you set it for how long you want it to come on uh, I haven't really done any research to see what the system one is yet uh, I haven't played with it any climate control I got mine set to auto so all those settings are set and ready to roll Set it back to my fuel one that I like to run, and we're good to go. Next thing is, is we'll plug in the module, and we'll get that started. 
Okay, here's the MPC module that we're going to be plugging in. Uh, it's a pretty small little compact box. Uh, first thing you're going to do, uh, you know, definitely read your instructions, but this plugs in under the dash. Um, right up underneath here in your data link connector that's right there. You actually come up here and you'll push the little pin on the back of it and you'll unplug the connector. You've got a mail section here. The mail section gets plugged in to the back of the module or to the back of the connector, I'm sorry. Um, like that. And the other end gets plugged into the connector that unplugged from it. And that's it. And you've got two black connectors on on the module here. Um, one connector has a tab on it like this. One connector does not. That's the connector you're going to want to plug into the module. Now what you do with that. Okay. Plug in the black plug. The one without the clip. Again, the one without the clip. While holding down the button. Wait for the lights to cycle through. Let go of the button. Plug in the white connector. And we should be good to go. Put my key in the ignition. key on. Make sure everything starts fine. Alright, now you should be able to do your lock, unlock, lock. And it starts. And it'll run for the 15 minutes until you're done. Now one thing to remember, uh, it will show you in the dash here that you have to put your key in, turn it on the drive. I don't know if you can see that very well yet. So put the key in. And as you notice, none of the radio, none of the heater stuff, any of that stuff is on. Um, turn the key on. Everything comes up. Vehicle's on, which we know. Door's open, which we know. And we're good to go. The heater comes back up to where I had it set at last. Everything starts up. Now, one thing to remember the first time you put this thing in is to... Uh, Make sure that you, uh, when you shut the truck off, make sure before you shut it off that you actually mash the brake pedal. The brake pedal will deactivate the remote start. If you get into the vehicle and mash the brake pedal before you put the key in the ignition, the vehicle will shut off. Um, but if you install this thing like we just have, and you put it in and you test everything and you turn it off, the truck will start back up if you haven't mashed the brake pedal. So uh, make sure you do that because I, I was a little frustrated with that when I first did it. Then I realized, oh wait, I got a master brake pedal. Um, but that's it. It is just that simple to install. It's that simple to go through the Forescan stuff on your own. Um, if you've got some questions about how to use the Forescan or, or want some more information on it, I'll try to put a link down in the description of a uh, Forescan site and uh, some spreadsheet information. But, you know. Drop me a line. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you know, we'll be more than happy to try to answer them. Um, if I can't answer it, I can try to point you to who can. Um, but that's this wrap on this first video. Maybe uh, everything worked out well. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much. Have a good day.